YouTube. To all of my new viewers, welcome to my channel. And to all of my returning viewers, welcome back. My name is Logan and I am a struggling artist and professional weirdo based out of New York City. Um, so today's video is going to be a continuation of my Elements inspired, Avatar The Last Airbender inspired series. Um, previously I have done, started with this fun guy here, which was Earth, I'm trying to like take the Earth here, um, which is all finished, it's all dried, it's up on my Etsy shop, which I will link right here. Um, Logan Vince Artistry, make sure you spell my name right. Um, I have an extra A in there, it is L-O-A-G-A-N. So go give that a view. Um, but that was the Earth inspired piece. Um, and obviously I attached it to characters from the Earth Kingdom. So like the main character from the Earth Kingdom was Toph, um, who's like kind of the cool badass blind girl um, who taught Aang how to earthbend in Avatar The Last Airbender. The next was Fire. So this one is my personal favorite out of the two that I've done so far. This is the fire piece, finished and dried. Um, and I love it so much because personally, some of my favorite characters from Avatar of the Last Airbender is Zuko, but just because he has one of the greatest character arcs in the history of film um, and character development ever to happen. Like, yeah, so Zuko, like, love that. But I also love that I put in blue and the way it turned out because Azula's fire is blue, like I mentioned in the last video. If you haven't seen it, um, go and watch it. You will not be disappointed. Now, today's video, um, I'm very excited about. It is going to be water, um, which obviously is going to be attributed to characters such as Katara and Sokka from Avatar The Last Airbender. But I'm excited for water because Number one, I'm a water sign. I'm a Cancer, born in July. Um, very proud to be a Cancer. But number two is because my favorite avatar in the history of the series that we know of is Korra from The Legend of Korra. Just because she's so ah, she's so cool. She's amazing, and also her story development is amazing. Um, so yeah. Um, today's colors are going to consist of Pearl Turquoise by Arteza, then, y'all didn't see that, like literally didn't see it, I dropped a bottle, um, Liquitex Basic Silver, then Thalo Blue by Arteza, this is one that might throw you off for a loop if you don't watch Avatar The Last Airbender, um, but Crimson Red by Arteza. I'll let you guys know why in a sec. Then Ultramarine Blue by Liquitex Basics. Iridescent White by Liquitex Basics. And I'm gonna finish it off with Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. And the base coat, as with the rest of my uh, um, paintings from this series, is going to be Neutral Gray 5 by Liquitex Basics. Now, I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, like, why is he doing red um, for if it's a water themed uh, el like element uh, pour? Well, if you watch Avatar The Last Airbender, there is a form of water bending known as blood bending, um, which is basically where you control the blood in a person's body and make them do whatever you want them to. You can also torture them that way. Um, there are only a few characters in the series who know how to do it. Katara knows how to do it. Um, I don't think Korra knows how to do it. There's Tarlock knows how to do it. Um, but yeah, so it's a very badass form of water bending where you can control the blood inside of a person's body. So that is why I am adding in the red. Um, so with that being said, I am going to pause you guys, bring you down. I'm not going to show you f me flooding the canvas today, but I'm going to flood the canvas and we'll get to uh, today's pour. Be right back. 
Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so as you can see, I have flooded my canvas with the neutral gray number five by Liquitex Basics. Now I'm just giving the base layer a little bit of a um, torch just to pop all the air bubbles. Um, there's the hair in there. I think I got it. Maybe I didn't, it's not viewable anymore. Anyways, so I'm gonna do another pop. But yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna start pouring the um, colors. So I hope you guys have all been having a good week. Today, the day I'm filming is Wednesday here in the United States, and it was an important day because it was Inauguration day, woohoo! Um, no matter who you're supporting, it's an important day in the United States. Um, it's our democracy at work. Um, and it was great. You know, it was the first inauguration I've ever really watched just because it's the only one I've ever been able to watch because it's my first time during a presidential election that I was out of school. Like I obviously had been in school my entire life. I graduated high school in 2015. And then for the 2016 election, I was, um, had moved to New York, but I um, was in college and I was at a performing arts school. So I was rehearsing at all hours of the day, every day. So like obviously couldn't have time to, oh, excuse me, to watch the inauguration. Um, so it was nice to finally be able to watch what the inauguration was like. And I mean, it was a beautiful ceremony. It was great. They introduced all the past presidents, um, all the important members of Congress, the Supreme Court, like Amy Klobuchar, um, Amy Coney Barrett, the new Supreme Court was there. All the Supreme Court justices were there, not just her. But yeah, it was great to see. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and so did that um, and then did some cleaning. I went out and got supplies to make a sangria because I'm having friends over on Friday night to watch uh, thir season 13 of Drag Race, which is still going on. It's still something I love with all my heart. Um, this is the week that contestants finally start getting eliminated. So we're all excited about that. But like all my friends last week that I had over, which wasn't a lot granted because you know, COVID, so didn't have too many people over, but all of them were like, can you make that sangria you made again? And I was like, yeah, no problem. I got y'all. Um, all right, so colors have been all laid out. And with that being said, got Charles here. Love him. Um, let's get started on today's pour. Okay, there it is. It is done and I am thrilled with it. I think it is so cool. Um, the red looks great in it. I love that it's all blues and silvers and then just the red is also in there as well. I think it looks great. 
the cells that are popping up are amazing, especially like here and here. Ugh, I love them so much. Um, but yeah, no, I'm super happy with this piece. I'm going to pause you guys and then I'm going to bring you in for a close up. All right, we'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back. And just look at this piece. Look at it. It is so pretty. I'm so happy with it. Bring you down here so you can see the close up. I am obsessed. These cells are everything. I think they're so cool. They kind of look 3D to me almost. And I guess that's because of the metallic colors in this. Um, but I am so happy with it. Once it gets its top coat of mass epoxy's resin, ugh, just, there's no, comp there's no competition. It's amazing. I'm so happy with it. I think it is stunning and I'm just, yeah, I'm over the wall, over the wall excited about it. So as always, remember to come down here, check the sides. It looks like it's pretty good as far as um, coverage goes. I'm gonna just take, come in here, take a popsicle stick, and then you're just gonna scrape the drips off your canvas. Um, and that's because you don't want the paint, if you don't pull it, the drips are gonna take that paint and they're gonna pull it off um, and will ruin it. So we don't want that. So come back and do it probably three, four times every 10, 15 minutes. I do it every 10 minutes and I normally do it four times just to make sure. But um, yeah, with that being said, if you like what you see, please, please, please hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. It would mean the world to me. Um, if you like what you see and you know anybody else who might like it, share it with your friends. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.